Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey, gang, what's up? How you doing? Happy hump day to you. I love hump day. <laughs> I hope you do too. We're just a couple days away from the weekend. I can't wait. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to my subscribers. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, I told you it's that simple to become part of the Steel City Mukbang family. All right, guys, before we get started here, <clears throat> I want to tell you. Well, you know what? Let me introduce the food first, and I'll talk and I'll, I'll tell you at the same time. All right. We have some Indomie Mee Goreng noodles. Some hot smoked sausage, a couple of eggs, as you can see, and some red cabbage. Just a simple little kind of Korean meal, Korean style inspired meal, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> what I want to tell you guys is today, of course, as you know, is September 9th. Today is September 9th. Mm. And one month from today, one month from today, is the first year anniversary of Steel City Mukbang. Steel City Mukbang will be one year old on October 9th. Special occasion. Special occasion means giveaways I'm going to put the air on okay I should have but when it's this close to fall, I hate to put it on. <sighs> Woo! But anyway, I want to show you the prize for the giveaway for next month. I am giving away a 32 ounce coldest water bottle. Completely unopened, brand new in the box. I'm going to open the box just to show you that yes, there really is a water bottle in there. Still wrapped up in its paper. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to close it back up. 32 ounce coldest water bottle. That's a $50 value. All right. Giving that away next month on the anniversary of Steel City Mukbang. Oh, by the way, Canada Dry, sparkling water. So, yeah. I will be coming up with some details for you for a contest. <clears throat> To give away this bottle next month, there will be some contest rules coming up very, very shortly. The 
contest will start on Monday. Next Monday, coming up. Next Monday, coming up. I don't know what the date is. Uh, 14th? Monday the 14th, possibly? I think it is Monday, September 14th. We'll see. But you know what I'm talking about. Next Monday. <laughs> I will have some contest details for you. To win this coldest water bottle next month on Steel City Anniversary. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for details to win. Oh, I struggle with this egg now. Trying to get it turned around. There we go. I'm trying not to break the yolk. That's what I'm trying not to do. It's pretty much cooked, but it'll still break. Where it's at right now, it'll still break. There we go. <clears throat> I might end up taking these glasses off after this because I'm hot. Here we go. Hmm. Good. You really should try some Miko Rang noodles. They're a lot like ramen. But they have their own unique flavor. Hmm. So good.
so guys <clears throat> I did a few ASMRs in a row I did three three ASMRs right in a row boom 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 so I wanted to come back today so we could talk And so I could let you know about the, the contest and the anniversary party. Because, <laughs> yeah, we are going to have an anniversary party. Yes, we will. Just so happens, October 9th is on a Friday. That's party night. At least it always was in my world. I would do Saturday night parties too, but <clears throat> A lot of times I had to consider that I was going to church Sunday morning. So <laughs> that kind of limited my Saturday night party. So Friday night party. Friday night party. That was like the best night for me anyway. Just for me. My pen. Friday night. Then Saturday. Maybe you could just do like. You know, a little mini get together or something like that. Or none at all. Because get up and go to church Sunday morning. So I was in the choir at church. So you really don't want to be up in the choir stand hungover. You don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> so I usually try to act like I had a little bit of sense on, on Saturday nights. <laughs> And if there's anybody out there talking about why are you partying at all when you're a Christian, you're going to church. If there's anybody out there talking about that right now, don't be a hypocrite. <laughs> don't be a hypocrite because you know there's probably something you're doing. Might not be partying on Saturday night, but it might be something else. That doesn't jive with what everybody thinks should jive with a Christian. So, don't go there with me. <laughs> I'll look at it this way. God knows exactly how he made me. He knows exactly what I will and will not do. He knows what to expect from me. He knows what to expect from all of us. So, therefore, there's no difference in saying, oh, I'm a Christian, so I got to stay home on Friday night and not party, then thinking about it. You know, if I sit at home Friday night and I don't go out and party like I wanted to because I'm a Christian, 
And I'm not making light of that. But I sit at home and I don't go out and my mind is thinking, you're a Christian so you can't go out Friday night. God knows that. He knows you're thinking that. <laughs> he knows your mind is really in the club. So, I kind of just told him. I told God, you know, like, God, you know I want to go out Friday night. And you already know that I'm going to go out Friday night. But, in order to make up for that a little bit, at least in my mind, I'm going to try to do right on Saturday night. I'll try to behave, you know, I'm going to try to do right on Saturday night. To get ready for my responsibilities and my duties on Sunday morning. That's it. I have that type of relationship with God. Where we just sit down and talk. Talk to him and just tell him, you know, I know I'm messed up. But that's why I have you in my life. Because I know I'm messed up, God. I know I'm messed up. So that's why I choose to have you in my life for those times that I get really, really messed up. So that's how me and God get along. He's my ride or die. For real, he's my ride or die. Telling you, this is the bomb. Let's see if I can get this one picked up. Just needed to bend. There we go. Mm. Get it to bend. Woo! All right, here we go. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> this is going to be a big bite.
a hot sausage. Hot smoked sausage. Cooked just like I like it. Charred on the sides here. Mmm. Well, gang, it's about that time. Peace out, my gastronomes and my vampires. I will see you soon. <laughs>